Alright guys, I'll just take one minute of your precious time. Just wanted to let all of you know that if you want to practice all these questions using artificial intelligence and practice on a portal which is as similar as your actual PT exam which will give you exact scores which you are likely to get in your exam, just register on languageacademy.com.au. You can practice as many questions. On top of that, you can get instant feedback, instant scores and instant suggestions on what other things you need to work on and how to improve your mistakes and turn them into your strength. You can also take a full scored mock test. You'll get a full scorecard. You'll get in-depth analysis. You'll get tutor's feedback. One mock test is available for free and four sectional mock tests are available for free. You just need to go on languageacademy.com.au. Register over there. Use Google Chrome, log in and practice and make sure you get your desired score at the earliest. Now you can continue with the video or you can just log on to languageacademy.com.au and practice all these questions over there as well. All the very best. I'll see you very soon. The development of easy-to-use statistical software has changed the way statistics is being taught and learned. Students can make transformations of variables, create graphs of distributions of variables, and select among statistical analyses all at the click of a button. However, even with these advancements, students sometimes still find statistics to be an arduous task. Welfare has a special political meaning to the United States because it refers to how the poor receives financial aid. In comparison, welfare services are regarded as a universal right in other regions like Europe, where it is believed that all citizens should be able to obtain a minimal level of social support and well-being.
first discovered in 2007, fast radio bursts continue to defy explanation. These cosmic chirps last a thousandth of second. The characteristics of the radio pulses suggested that they came from galaxies billions of light years away. However, new works points to a much closer origin, flaring stars within our own galaxy. The insults and criticism were not unexpected. What was surprising was people's enthusiasm about the competition. Thousands have participated in the discussion. In the photo, the wild cat's huge paws are clamped onto the side of the white safari jeep, in which Chappelle was a passenger. Almost as tall as the jeep on her hind legs, she appears to be forcing the muzzle into the back window. Every morning, no matter how late he had been up, my father rose at 5.30, went to his study, wrote for a couple of hours, made us all breakfast, read the paper with my mother, and then went back to work for the rest of the morning. Many years passed before I realized that he did this for a living.
in spite of the spectacularly high quality of life enjoyed by the vast majority of the people who live in the European Union, its inhabitants seem obsessed by the region's relative decline in the world. Slow economic growth rates and high unemployment have reinforced the impression that Europe is unhappy with today and unsure of tomorrow. Modern buildings have to achieve certain performance requirements, at least to satisfy those of building codes, to provide a safe, healthy, and comfortable environment. However, these conditioned environments demand resources in energy and materials, which are both limited in supply, to build and operate. Such cross-protection is usually seen between two animals. But Gore studies the same sort of mutualism in microbes. He and his team demonstrated the first experimental example of that cross-protective relationship in drug-resistant microbes, using two strains of antibiotic-resistant E. coli bacteria, one resistant to ampicillin, the other to chloramphenicol. The problem begins with the alphabet itself. Building a spelling system for English using letters that come from Latin, despite the two languages not sharing exactly the same set of sounds, is like building a playroom using an IKEA office set.
Moods may also have an effect on how information is processed, by influencing the extent to which judges rely on pre-existing, internal information, or focus on new, external information. Positive moods promote more holistic and top-down processing style, while negative moods recruit more stimulus-driven and bottom-up processing. Although introvert and extrovert personality types differ from one another on various grounds, the major difference between the two is their source of rejuvenation. While for extroverts, this may mean interaction or excursions with friends and family, the same may mean reading a book or listening to music for introverts. Pluto lost its official status when the International Astronomical Union downsized the solar system from nine to eight planets, although there had been passionate debate at the IAU General Assembly meeting in Prague about the definition of a planet and whether Pluto met the specifications, the audience greeted the decision to exclude it with applause. The core of the problem was the immense disparity between the country's productive capacity and the ability of people to consume. Great innovations in productive techniques during and after the war raised the output of industry beyond the purchasing capacity of U.S. farmers and wage earners.
The training of an actor is an intensive process, which requires curiosity, courage and commitment. You will learn how to prepare for rehearsal, how to rehearse and how to use independent and proactive processes that inform you to do the best work possible for both stage and screen. The emergence of information technology has created new products, processes and distribution systems. New products include the computer, the internet and digital TV. New processes include internet banking, automated inventory control and automated teller machines. And new distribution systems include cable and satellite TV. A hazard assessment should be performed for work involving distillations of organic liquids, and should thoroughly address issues relating to residual water, and possible decomposition of the solvent in question, as well as the physical placement of the distillation apparatus, and heating equipment to be employed. Thus, a country might possess a sizable rural population, but have an economic system, in which the interests of the voters were predominantly related to their incomes, not to their occupations or location, and in such a country the political system would be unlikely to include an important agrarian party.
You used to think that being green was a luxury for your company, but climate change has made you realize that you can no longer ignore it. The buzz is about becoming carbon neutral, but where do you start? Consider your drivers. Do you want to become carbon neutral for marketing reasons, for financial reasons or to help save the planet? The maximum yield of plants, determined by their genetic potential, is seldom achieved because factors such as insufficient water or nutrients, adverse climate condition, plant diseases, and insect damage will limit growth at some stage. Plants subjected to these biotic and abiotic constraints are said to be stressed. With a population of only just over 30 million living in the world's second largest country, Canada is justly renowned for vast tracts of wilderness untroubled by pollution, either from industry or from intensive farming methods. A major conservation issue is the battle to stop the logging of virgin forest in northern Ontario and on the west coast. The one-year program of the Master in Global Management is designed only for those who have the graduate degree in the thesis, increasing temporary skill of new managers in an international capacity, something that recruiters are looking for more and more.
competence in mathematics was another trouble spot. More than half said their real task, schools graduates are deficient in mathematics, more than 10% of respondents and said colleges graduates are deficient in the subject, while 70% said they are adequate. Few things in the world produce such amazement as one's first of clippers of Grand Canyon. It took around more than two billion years to create this vast wonder in some places 17 miles wide, largely through the relentless force of Colorado River, which runs 277 miles along its length, a mile beneath its towering rims. Along with customary classes on subjects such as finance, accounting, and marketing, today's MBA students are enrolling on courses for environmental policy and stewardship. Indeed, more than half of business schools require a course in environmental sustainability or corporate social responsibility, according to a survey of 91 U.S. business schools, published in October 2005. Nothcote Parkinson, a British writer, formulated Parkinson's rule, work expands to fill the time allotted to it, or, conversely, the amount of work completed is in inverse proportion to the number of people employed. Simply said, if you have an hour to do a five-minute job, it will take an hour to do it. A large number of people accomplish less work than a smaller number of people.
fence, humanly erected barrier between two divisions of land, used to mark a legal or other boundary, to keep animals or people in or out, and sometimes as an ornament. In newly settled lands, fences are usually made of materials at hand, e.g., stone, earth, or wood. Major breeding areas and breeding islands are shown as dark green areas or darts. Open darts show no breeding records on islands and are also used for offshore sightings, that is from ships or boats. Other areas where species is not meant to be seen are plain pale green, with pale green hatching where records are usually sparse. This is what needs to happen on climate change. The world needs to put a price on carbon emissions and let the market respond. If politicians pretend this can be done without pain, it will probably result in another 5 to 10 years of inaction. If bonus or incentive pay schemes work so well for senior executives and bankers, why does everyone not get them? After all, many jobs involve making important decisions or taking risks. Is there anything about corporate decisions and financial risks that makes these categories of work special in terms of how they need to be incentivized and rewarded?
Since its inception, the UN system has been working to ensure adequate food for all through sustainable agriculture. The majority of the world's poorest people live in rural areas of developing countries. They depend on agriculture and related activities for their livelihoods. This makes them particularly vulnerable to man-made and natural influences that reduce agricultural production. The Ford company provides plenty of opportunities for its employees. It guarantees not only comfortable and appropriate working conditions, but also many other advantages. Therefore, becoming a part of the Ford Motor Company is always profitable and beneficial. Moreover, it is important to mention that Ford Motors provides its employees with effective and useful services and takes care of their well-being. The free market is extremely competitive, and companies are constantly trying to gain an edge over their rivals. Merchandising and brand image play a major role in attracting customers, but they often lead to over-packaging. This is a serious problem since most packaging these days are made of plastics, which are not biodegradable. Some people blame the manufacturers for their blatant disregard, while others point the finger at consumers. Written examinations are a fact of life for most high school and university students. However, recent studies have shown that 
This traditional form of assessment may not be an accurate indicator of academic performance. Tests have shown that many students experience anxiety during exam weeks, which leads to poorer results. As a result, some learning institutions are replacing exams with alternative assessments, such as group work and oral presentations. In a genuine republic, the will of the government is dependent on the will of the society, and the will of the society is dependent on the reason of the society. In Federalist 51, for example, James Madison claimed that the extent and structure of the government of the United States make it dependent on the will of the society. Electronic discourse is one form of interactive electronic communication. In this study, we reserve the term for the two-directional texts, in which one person using a keyboard writes language, that appears on the sender's monitor, and is transmitted to the monitor of a recipient, who responds by keyboard. As we progress into the 21st century, communications are becoming faster and faster. Think of millions of different media images you are bombarded with every day. It is as important now to be able to read and make sense of those images, as it has been to be able to read ordinary text.
the Founding Fathers established constitutional protections for the press, because they understood that leaving the watchdog function to partisan politicians wouldn't necessarily serve the public interest, both sides have too many incentives to preserve the status quo, and ignore problems that elude quick fixes. Where there are effects, there are often side effects. The car is a boon to mobility, but can lead to obesity, injuries, deaths and pollution. Burning fossil fuel may keep economies going, but wrecks the climate in the long run. In a similar way, there are side effects to information technology and education stings, from childcare to the classroom to the lecture hall and beyond. Beauty contests, whether it's Miss Universe or Miss Teen International, are demeaning to women and out of sync with the times. Opponents say that they are nothing more than symbols of decline. Since Australians Jennifer Hawkins and Lauren Eagle were crowned Miss Universe and Miss Teen International respectively, there has been a dramatic increase in interest in beauty pageants in this country. The initial thud comes from when those dorsal bursae collide, and the reverberation results from the vibrations that linger, 
when the tissues pull apart. But though the younger says the bursae have to be somewhat sticky for the clapping together, and snapping apart to produce a noise with the correct loudness and pitch, that stickiness comes courtesy of the mucus. Study author Samuel Sheehan, a materials scientist, says this smart glass is cheaper than others, and uses minimal power, much less, for example, than something like a curling iron. And since it's flexible and foldable, he says it could even be used for things like camouflage uniforms, to switch, for example, from green and brown to white and gray. This would be very useful when the background landscape suddenly changes, such as during early snowfall. This study marks the first time scientists have linked dike formation to large, damaging earthquakes, and Wathier is looking back through history for more examples. She says researchers will never be able to predict exactly when an earthquake might strike after a dike intrusion. But at least now, researchers and rift zone residents know they're not just in for bangs, they may also be in for shutters. History rubs shoulders, and often overlaps with many other areas of research, from myths and epics to the social sciences, including economics, politics, biography, demography, and much else besides. Some histories are almost pure narratives, while others go in for detailed, tightly focused analyses of, for example, the parish records of a Cornish village in the 16th century.
humans need to use energy in order to exist. So, it is unsurprising that the way people have been producing energy is largely responsible for current environmental problems. Pollution comes in many forms, but those that are most concerning, because of their impact on health, result from the combustion of fuels in power stations and cars. Not a lot is known about how the transportation of goods by water first began. Large cargo boats were being used in some parts of the world up to 5,000 years ago. However, sea trade became more widespread when large sailing boats traveled between ports, carrying spices, perfumes and objects made by hand. Rees took a stab at settling the argument with a meta-analysis a study of studies on whether people can really perceive better than CD quality sound. He analyzed data from 18 studies, including more than 400 participants and nearly 13,000 listening tests. Overall, listeners picked out the better than CD quality track 52.3% of the time. Statistically significant, if not all that impressive. Psychologist Saho Takagi, a graduate student at Kyoto University in Japan, strolls into one of Japan's many cat cafes. These establishments allow customers to pay an hourly fee for the chance to cuddle some cats. They're popular in Japan because so many apartment buildings forbid pet ownership. 
but Takagi isn't a typical customer. She's not there for feline affection, but to probe their minds. Here are perhaps three ways of looking at furniture. Some people see it as purely functional and useful, and don't bother themselves with aesthetics. Others see it as essential to civilized living and concern themselves with design and how the furniture will look in a room. In other words, function combined with aesthetics, and yet others see furniture as a form of art. The primary application we're targeting at first is to give people a decision aid during rehabilitation, following an acute knee injury, to help them understand when they can perform particular activities, and when they can move to different intensities of particular activities. A useful thing to take a crack at. Currently, integration is increasingly needed in the business environment. This need emerges from the efficiency and synergy requirements necessary in a complex and turbulent environment. In other words, integration is needed to facilitate coordination, which is again related to the building of competitive advantage.
The speaker reminisces about his views of the English Revolution, when he was a student, and how it seemed quite clear which side he was on, the aristocrats, not the Puritans. Later, he realized there was more to it than that, and there were several ways of interpreting the revolution, as a struggle between the king and parliament, as a class war or as an unpredictable situation without clear sides. Historically what has been used to estimate bats has been photographic estimates, visual estimates, mark recapture estimates, and those have been highly prone to bias. Newer technology, like thermal imaging cameras is accurate, but expensive. So at a time of epic bat mortality due to, for example, the fungal white nose syndrome that's wiping out bats in Canada and the U.S., Cloper says her method might be a cheap, reliable way to determine the most critical caves to save. At the end of this year, we will launch the Cup class boats. So these will be about twice the power. The sailors are down in cockpits, unlike today. A lot of the power is being generated by these four grinders that are providing hydraulic power, and that energy is being used to control the flying surface, the hydrofoil, dot and is also being used to control the wing and the flaps, effectively the engine, of what we have. The beginning of the 21st century will be remembered, not for military conflicts or political events, but for a whole new age of globalization, a flattening of the world. The explosion of advanced technologies now means that suddenly knowledge pools and resources have connected all over the planet, leveling the playing field as never before.
What we found is that the plant is actually damaged by herbivores like most plants are in nature. And in response to that it secretes sugar from the wound edges, where the herbivores have damaged the plant. Tobias Lortzing is a graduate student at Freie University Berlin, and one of the study authors. Kinderman says he thinks the compound could be a win-win for the planet and the animals. You know the methane is kind of a waste product. And this energy, instead of losing it for the animal, it can be reused for the animal in terms of performance. And at the same time we are doing something for greenhouse gas emission and climate change. The product's not on the market yet. Toxicology tests are ongoing. They controlled for the bird's age, sex, body size and species, and they found that the hunted specimen's brains were actually 5% smaller, on average, than the brains of birds that died by other means. The surprising thing is that, if you make a smaller kind of analysis of liver or heart size, there is absolutely no difference there. So this is specific to the brain. By this time, however, paleontological momentum had moved to England. In 1812, at Lyme Regis on the Dorset coast, an extraordinary child named Mary Anning, aged 11, 12 or 13, depending on whose account you read, found a strange fossilized sea monster, 17 feet long and now known as the Ichthyosaurus, embedded in the steep and dangerous cliffs along the English Channel.
Clemenson wanted to see if claims of question dodging actually held up. Historically not necessarily in the unique case of Trump. So Clementon analyzed the transcripts of 14 presidential debates, from 1996 to 2012. Overall, he found 51 accusations of question dodging 26 by Dems, 25 by Republicans. Roman writers and orators began to expand their imaginative and intellectual horizons, and refine the Latin language through the study of Greek literature. Early Roman literature had two kinds, the recording and examination of public life and behavior through life stories of famous men, and the particularly Roman art of satirical comedy and drama. A recent trend in the entertainment world is to adapt classic works of literature for either TV or movies. One argument is that this is to everyone's benefit, as it introduces people to works they might otherwise never have, but is rarely done successfully. Howard believed that all clouds belonged to three distinct groups, cumulus, stratus and cirrus. He added a fourth category, nimbus, to describe a cloud in the act of condensation into rain, hail or snow. It is by observing how clouds change color and shape that weather can be predicted. And as long as the first three types of cloud keep their normal shape there won't be any rain.
it is difficult to tell whether the speaker approves of Hemingway's lifestyle or not. He was famously macho and spent a lot of time hunting wild animals. Going to wars and getting into fights. All these things got into his books. And the speaker thinks that this is not necessarily a good thing as it means that too many people prefer to read about his life than read his books. As a historian, if you really want to understand the sensibilities of those who lived in the past, you must be like a novelist and get into the skins of your characters and think and feel as they do. You are asked to imagine what it's like to be a peasant in medieval times, asking the sort of questions a peasant might ask. What the writer is saying is that a historian needs imaginative sympathy with ordinary people in the past. Some people object that in order for the eye to modify and still remain a useful instrument to its owner, many changes would have had to take place simultaneously. However, it is not necessary to suppose this if the modifications were extremely slight and gradual. Many papers you write in college will require you to include quotes from one or more sources. Even if you don't have to do it, integrating a few quotes into your writing can add life and persuasiveness to your arguments. 
The key is to use quotes to support a point you're trying to make rather than just include them to fill space. Researchers gathered 160 uncaffeinated adults, people who consumed less than 500 mg of caffeine a week. These decaf subjects looked at pictures of various objects, then took either a placebo or a pill containing 200 mg of caffeine. That's roughly the amount you'd get from two cups of coffee. The best comparison is likely a magnetar, a young neutron star with a powerful magnetic field. The researchers said, magnetars also produce bright X-ray flares. While magnetars are thought to be young stars, the two flaring objects in this study reside near elliptical galaxies, which contain older stars. So the objects are likely too old to be magnetars, the researchers said. The curriculum enhances the general management program with health-related courses. Dr. Schulman says, Required courses include healthcare in the 21st century and the economics and strategy of health sector management. Students may also take electives such as medical device commercialization, healthcare marketing and the economics and management of the pharmaceutical industry.
Botanic gardens are scientific and cultural institutions established to collect, study, exchange and display plants for research and for the education and enjoyment of the public. There are major botanic gardens in each capital city. Zoological parks and aquariums are primarily engaged in the breeding, preservation, study and display of native and exotic fauna in captivity. Thompson recognized and exploited all the ingredients of a successful amusement ride, writes Judith A. Adams in the American amusement park industry. His coasters combined an appearance of danger with actual safety, thrilled riders with exhilarating speed, and allowed the public to intimately experience the industrial revolution's new technologies of gears, steel, and dazzling electric lights. The English Revolution has been interpreted in several ways by historians, as a fight between the aristocratic cavaliers, who were open to life, and the serious Puritans, as a battle for power between Parliament and the monarchy over the rights of Englishmen that had been going on for centuries, and as a class war similar to the French Revolution, of which it was a forerunner. Market research is a vital part of the planning of any business. However experienced you or your staff may be in a particular field, if you are thinking of introducing a service to a new area, 
it is important to find out what the local population thinks about it first. The speaker is a marine biologist who became interested in the strandlopers, an ancient people who lived on the coastline, because of their connection to the sea. Their way of life intrigued him. As a child he had spent a lot of time by the sea, exploring and collecting things, so he began to study them, and discovered some interesting information about their way of life, how they hunted, what tools they used, and so on. As far as politics go, the responses are just as varied. Mitigation is common and calls for a reduction of emissions and less reliance on fossil fuels. Coal-burning power plants are now replaced with hydraulic power plants and electrical cars are replacing some gasoline-efficient cars. Many people, however, feel that this is not enough. Global warming is defined as an increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. This trend began in the middle of the 20th century and is one of the major environmental concerns of scientists and governmental officials worldwide. The changes in temperature result mostly from the effect of increased concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere.
The numbers on U.S. student debt, after all, are truly staggering. The average 2015 U.S. university graduate who took out loans to help pay for tuition enters the workforce with $35,000 in student debt. In the U.S., total student debt exceeds $1.15 trillion, dwarfing, for instance, the nation's credit card debt. Since Plato, philosophers have described the decision-making process as either rational or emotional, we carefully deliberate or we blink and go with our gut. But as scientists break open the mind's black box with the latest tools of neuroscience, they're discovering that this is not how the mind works. Our best decisions are a finely tuned blend of both feeling and reason, and the precise mix depends on the situation. Who do you think is the most glamorous person? A biotechnologist who led his company in international research? An ordinary welder who gained international fame through his work? Or a photographer complimented widely for a series of photos? Now crack your PTE sitting at your home. Language Academy brings to you the smartest AI-powered practice portal, with instant scores and feedback for all the tasks. Along with the practice questions, access free sectional and full mock tests, and get instant scorecard with in-depth feedback and analysis. For more hidden secrets, tips, strategies, and proven templates, click the link below and subscribe to our video course today.